Hi, I'm Michael Young. I'm the creative director of Finding Nemo the Musical. Can you just tell us a little bit about the musical? Well, it's it's a wonderful musical adaptation of the classic Pixar film. We try to tell the story of Finding the Nemo the musical in a half-hour format with live puppetry and live singing performances. Um, you mentioned that this was the first collaboration of Disney World between Disney Creative Entertainment. Why, why is this the first? <laughs> um, well, Disney Creative Entertainment is a new group that's only been in existence for about five years. It's led by Ann Hamburger. I'm part of that group. I'm the creative director for that team. And this is our first big show with Walt Disney World. We've done smaller shows like Playhouse Disney and on some other shows here, but it, it just happens to be our first show here. So uh, This isn't really, in my opinion, a traditional Disney theme park entertainment, certainly not Disney World, maybe Disneyland with Aladdin and Snow White. Um, is that kind of an intentional thing to change what we think of as theme park entertainment? That's kind of why Annie Hamburger and, and our team was brought into existence, was really to try to find a way to bring a, a different level of theatrical experience for our guests. I think we found that our audiences are extraordinarily sophisticated with theater. You know, they see productions of The Lion King on Broadway and Beauty and the Beast and Tarzan and all the great work that Disney Theatricals is doing. And, you know, they wanted to bring that level of quality to the park. So we've really tried to create musical theater that delivers a different kind of expectation for our guests and hopefully immerses them in a theatrical experience that's unique and very Disney. Now, Disney, in addition to entertainment, has always, in a sense, been about teaching as well. Is that kind of a conscious thing to introduce children to musical theater? Absolutely. I mean, it's one of my favorite parts of this job. I have to say it's one of the most rewarding aspects of doing theater in this world because, you know, our guests are so extraordinary and for, they bring young children who have perhaps never seen theatrical shows for the first time they're getting to see them here. So it's really important to us that the level of entertainment that they're offered is not children's theater, but real theatrical experiences and hopefully it'll make them want to go see other theater or go see other shows while they're while they're here in the parks. Now, there are a lot of things here that I certainly haven't seen in a Disney show. What were some of the challenges you faced in trying to bring this to a theme park? <laughs> well, I mean, A, it's an original musical of a very classic, beloved film and, you know, there's always a sort of trepidation about trying to create something that completely unique. Will guests be able to respond to the music and understand the story, you know, because it's, it's so different from the film and also the theatrical application of this, meaning that, you know, it's all puppetry. The one thing that I would have to say is the most sort of challenging in terms of the performance is actually what the performers have to do because they, they have to sing live, they have to act and dance. You know, in the theater world, we call that a triple threat, an actor who can sing, dance, and act live. And here we kind of have quadruple threats because on top of all of that, not only are they flying through the air, but they're puppeting all of these beautiful creations. You know, and we've only been working for about seven weeks on the show and the level of, of, of sophistication and kind of you know life and energy that they've been able to bring to these puppets in such a short amount of time most of them haven't really had a lot of puppetry training has been really amazing I'm really proud of the whole team what's the guest response been so far it's been overwhelming I have to say it's really touching you know we make the pre-show speech a lot and we really invite guests to give us feedback it's very important to us to have a preview period where we get guest feedback because we're constantly making adjustments to the show and it's very important that, again, the story is clear, they understand the characters, they really get the world and the, the feedback has been overwhelmingly positive and, and, you know, incredibly rewarding for us. So, One last question, what's your favorite part of the show? What? You know, I love the entire show from beginning to end. There are so many favorite parts of it for me, and I'm so close to it. I really love the Turtles. I think Go With the Flow is such a great standalone production number. You know, almost, and I'm, you know, I've been working on the show for about three years, but the very end, when Marlon and Nemo have that moment, puts me in tears every time. I mean, every single time. It's kind of embarrassing, but it just really moves me, and, you know, I think it's a very beautiful moment. So.